Perfect. Yeah. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm actually gonna vlog in Africa. I know in my last video I said I wouldn't because I'm out here with clients all the time, but for a weird reason today, I'm all alone in the safari vehicle, except for me and my friend Daniel up there. There he is right there. Now you gotta say hi, Daniel. Hi, Seth. <laughs> there he is. So Daniel's now gonna star in YouTube. Uh, and we're gonna try and make a video today. We just have a couple hours on our afternoon game drive. And uh, because I'm all alone, no clients this afternoon, here I am. I'm gonna try and find uh, some good wildlife and try and do a reasonably interesting vlog today out here, since uh, I don't get an opportunity to do that very much. So follow along. Here we are in the Land Cruiser. And uh, Daniel is, we're in Masai Mara. And Daniel, this is where he's from, so he's like the perfect guide to have out here. He's found us leopards and lions and cheetahs and everything else we wanted to see so far. So today he's gonna find everything for us again. Multiple leopards with babies. No, he's ignoring me, which was smart because that, that's a, a tall order. He's gonna find it all, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Everything, all right. Yep. <laughs> now we're gonna have a good time today so uh hang in there and we'll show you what we come up with So we've got all these giraffes surrounding us here, but um, these there's a bunch up on the ridge that I might take a quick photo of here. So yeah, if we could go forward just a little bit more. See them up on the ridge there, Daniel? See them way up on the ridge? Yeah. Can we go forward like 100 meters? Sure. And then I'll uh, photograph them up there. Yeah. Oh so the giraffes that I'm interested in are up on a ridge up here with some clouds and stuff behind them. And uh, we'll see if I can make an interesting photo here. These are great, but I like the look of there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them up on the ridge with a baby. So I'm gonna shoot those. So that actually worked out pretty good because uh, we had these giraffes here closer to us. They were walking our, and then the giraffe's way out on the horizon. And uh, I was using this giraffe closest to us, just his head was in the frame, and then with the giraffes behind him. And it kind of was cool, just the juxtaposition of the one close and then the far ones. And the light just got really good on the far one, so I'm gonna shoot that real quick. That little giraffe scene was a nice way to start the afternoon, and then there's a couple of their buddies right there. Uh, but I liked that up on the ridge and then having a couple closer in the foreground was kind of nice, unexpected little treat there. Three boys trying to make her their girlfriend. Mm -hmm.
guys are all worked up. They're like drooling. It's really cool. That's one of our other vehicles. That's Sue and Mark up there. And we just left those giraffes. And uh, because we, there was good interaction there, and that's kind of one thing I've been trying to focus on this trip, uh, was interaction between animals. And so that was a perfect situation for that because we had bulls trying to get with the ladies up there. And so there was some good interaction. And I've been trying to look for that a little bit more this trip than last trip with uh, all the different critters we're seeing. Anytime I see any kind of interaction possibility, I'm uh, being trying to be more aware of that this trip for whatever reason. But that's kind of been one of my themes I've been looking for is interaction. So that was perfect for this trip. So we'll see what happens next. That was a great little way to start the afternoon. We've got like an hour and a half of light left, so we'll see what else we can find out here. And actually, while I've got a second here, I, it's pretty unlikely we'll find a leopard this evening. Anything could happen, but uh, since I won't probably won't be able to vlog a leopard encounter, I'll show you uh, some video and photos from the really cool leopard encounter we had here in the Mara. And uh, with just a beautiful lone acacia tree and a big male leopard coming across the grasslands, finding that tree and then climbing it. And it was just wonderful having that Obviously, a magnificent creature, but also that setting of just a beautiful lone acacia tree out in the Mara. It was pretty iconic and, and a photo that I don't have. I've never seen something that clean with the leopard before. So that was really, really special to see and to be able to um, video and photograph. So I'll show you that here as well. And uh, hope you enjoy that little section because um, we only have a couple hours here on this evening game drive. And uh, unlikely we'll find a leopard this evening, but I'll show you the one we've got, one of the few that we've seen so far. It's really cool. Let's see. Let me drop my alpha Hey, Dan, can you pull forward so I can shoot through that little gap? A little bit more stop. Uh, stop right here. Stop oh, this good. There's a lioness with a little tiny baby right there. It's terrible vision, but I'm going to try and get a photo through there, anyways. There's really tricky. There's no good spot here to see it. But she's like 15 feet away. All right, so Daniel found a uh, lioness with a little tiny baby. He thinks the baby's about a week old. And it's in the bushes out here. I'm I'm vlogging like this so I can keep my eye on it because it's, it's nursing right now. And it's in the thick bushes. You can barely see through all the foliage, but I'm, I'm just hopeful that maybe baby will lift its head while I'm here. And I can shoot through all the foliage and get a picture of it. 
either wallet nurses or um, when it's done nursing. Ooh, it's got this little cute paw up. Hang on. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Oh. So it had his head up for just a brief second. I snapped a couple of photos. I don't know if I got anything out of that. It happened real fast, but anyway, this is awesome. A uh, tough shot. Maybe two? Two, yeah. Two, okay. One of the legs of his mother. Okay. So I see the three. Oh, I see it's rolling around now, yeah. 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 So really, really hard to see into this thick, bushy stuff, you know. I'm getting there. Just can't see very well, but uh, I'm just hoping baby lifts its head enough for me to get a shot or two off. It's just really hard to see and, and photograph into there. But this is awesome. And, uh, See if I can get anything out of this and then we'll keep moving along. All right, I got lucky there. The uh, the second cub came in and wanted to nurse too and it came over and yawned and then laid back down. So I think that was about as good as I could have gotten out of this situation. That's just so hard to photograph. So super cool. I think we'll, we'll keep moving around and see what else we can find this afternoon. Awesome stuff though. Rainstorm. All right, so Daniel found us four more lions. Looks like four lionesses. There are three other cars here as well. And they're all on the other side of the river here, right at uh, one of the river crossings. And uh, so there's one right there and three right there. And at the moment, they're just kind of lounging, but it's got really good potential here. If they were to come out onto the, the rocks or the river or something out here, that would be incredible. But uh, we're just going to kind of wait because they're lounging right now to see what happens. But it's cool. Four lions right here. Right, so the lions are just chilling. Didn't look like they were gonna do a whole lot. So daylight's fading and we're gonna go uh, see what else we can find out there. Oh, there's another lion too that I didn't even notice. So one, two, three, four, five lions right there. And maybe more that I didn't even see. cars seems to have found the cheetah so we should be there in just a minute they're straight ahead we'll see what it's doing if it's sleeping or moving around in the meantime that storm came through temperature dropped and i had to put on a long sleeve shirt all right we found the cheetah trying to get in a good position and uh, try and make some nice photos. I'm gonna try and get low, maintain a thousandth of a second here, shutter speed, shoot it with the big lens. And uh, that, that background's beautiful. Can we see mama right here? Uh, yeah, just like that background, the, the sky is beautiful behind it right now. 
to this side. And this view, thank you, a good position. Okay, it's good, we can move. Thank you. Trying to work a nice background here, but it's in the tall grass, so it's real tricky. Now we're gonna try and move a little bit, get it out in the open a little bit. There we go. All right, he's coming right here. This is good, Daniel, right here. Yep, it's great. Let me try and get this tree. Oh, I was, I was busy dicking around with the GoPro and I missed a nice shot there. But I still got a good, good situation. Yeah, no, there you come on. It's just walking through the grass here. It's great. Stay on the tree and turn my Okay. Can you can you move forward then? Because I've got two two termite mounds in the way. So there's a nice tree right here. Let's see if he comes up on the termite mound. Right here, stop, stop, some mama, some mama. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, this will be great. I gotta get a shorter lens out too. Because if it goes up on this tree, it'll be awesome, but I'll need a shorter lens. I think because of Oops, the there grass. it goes. Because of the grass. Oh, that's great. That'd be good. All right, cool. We're going to move again. Uh, it didn't come exactly where we wanted on that mound, but it was really cool. And uh, we're going to move. So that's tricky because I'm trying to shoot with two different cameras, one wide and one pretty tight, and film with the GoPro. That's really hard. This would be beautiful if it comes there, yeah. So now the, the hope here is that that little turmoil now and maybe it'll jump up on there with the beautiful sunset behind it oh there it goes nice wow yeah oh awesome stay 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 i gotta shoot this wide also Oh, killer, killer, killer. Really fantastic. This is so good. This is awesome.
project one deal. All right, we're leaving. There's the rest of our crew back there. There they are, there's our people. And now we're gonna get back to the lodge because it's getting dark out. Yeah, we'll come back tomorrow, you think? Ooh, look at that sunset out there. It's incredible. Anyway, that cheetah was super awesome. Sorry, I had a hard time vlogging there. There was too much going on. A big shot of the top. Oh, okay. that was awesome. That was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So good. So anyway, I think that will be uh, the end of the vlog for today. We're going to get back to the lodge and have some and dinner. It's sure that we are lucky on this safari. You think we're lucky on this one? On this safari. It was good, huh? Yeah. What? It was good. <laughs> it was good. It's true. Yeah, our best, our first part of the day. So uh, we hope to see more tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. We do hope. We'll hope to see more tomorrow. We'll we got tomorrow, yeah. like five, four, five. yeah, five, six, seven, eight lions. Yeah, exactly. Two cheetahs. Sure. Some giraffes. Rough, bad. What else is there? It was great. Yeah, big, big yep. So I'm going to sign off with that and say thanks for watching the Africa vlog. This is a rare opportunity that I had to come out alone today with Daniel because uh, we had a couple of clients that were too, too tired to get out there uh, for a short evening drive today. And so it worked out just great that I had time to vlog here alone and uh, we found some great stuff. So I hope you enjoy the photos that I made today and uh, I might throw a few more photos in there anyways, just from some of the other stuff I've shot. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but anyway, this is Africa and it's fantastic. We're in the Maasai Mara and it's wonderful. And take care. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. And Daniel says good night. Good night, guys. <laughs> awesome.